please welcome Mercedes-Benz EQ, Formula E drivers, Stoffel van Dorn and Nick de Vries. Got there. Got there, got there. The, 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 yeah, we got him. Uh, boys, welcome. What an exciting day uh, to kick off here and launch this new team. Stoffel, uh, you've already, of course, had a season in Formula E with HWA Race Lab under your belt. What are your expectations going into this season one with Mercedes? Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, first of all, uh, obviously, extremely proud to be uh, officially part of the of the Mercedes family um, you know it's a great uh, great honor to race for uh, for a team like that and yeah I really can't wait for uh, for next season I have one year of experience now in in Formula E uh, which obviously is going to be ve very helpful to to start the next one um, and yeah we'll see I mean it's a it's an exciting project for for every one of us uh, together with Nick as well who will be doing his first season in the, in the series so uh, yeah we're all we're all very excited Formula E have tried a lot of different exciting things. One of the more unusual of those has been Fan Boost. In all honesty, Stoffel, it's an area where you've absolutely excelled, uh, almost a clean sweep last year. But talking about social media and in the context, how important is it to Formula E? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been great to, um, to always been up there and to, you know, to, to see so much support from, uh, from all my fans. And, Really, you know, that, that's what Formula E is about. It's about, you know, the fans getting close to, to the sport. We race in, in really big cities, um, but really it's, it's for the fans to kind of have a connection with, with the race. They feel like they can, they can have an impact on the result, and, yeah, it's a, it's a great initiative. Uh, Nick, uh, historically, the leading lights of Formula 3 and Formula 2 have, have made their way potentially to, to Formula 1. I think it's an incredible coup, not just for Mercedes-Benz, but also for Formula E as a whole to have attracted the current leader in the F2 championship over to Formula E. What is it that's made this the right next step in your career? Uh, well, I think... Is it working? Yes. Um, I think that Formula E has uh, established itself over the past five years as one of the uh, biggest professional racing categories alongside Formula One. And uh, to be obviously part of uh, Mercedes-Benz um, in that kind of championship, I think, uh, didn't make it difficult. Uh, obviously, I think every young driver shares the same kind of dream and passion to uh, eventually make it to Formula One. But um, I think, uh, yeah, this, this opportunity is the, is the right decision in, in, in my career. And I'm honestly very grateful and happy for this opportunity. And I can't wait to, uh, yeah, get all started. You said it's not a hard decision and uh, coming over to the Mercedes-Benz family. Just how excited are you to be joining Mercedes-Benz? I'm assuming it's a brand you've heard a fair bit about before. Yes, yeah, certainly. Obviously, kind of carrying the, 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 the pride of the star is, uh, is a real honor. Uh, as a kid, I've been, I've been watching the, the brand, the cars and, and the, the motorsport history uh, for a long time. So uh, it's, I honestly feel really privileged to, to become part of the family and... Uh, Hopefully, I can uh, make them all proud. I saw you and uh, Stoffel walked off earlier to have a look around the IAA. There's been a, a couple of amazing electric cars launched here. What are your thoughts generally on electrification and electric cars? Uh, <laughs> difficult question. Um, obviously, uh, I think general, generally the world is pushing uh, in this direction and everyone is uh, going for uh, yeah, green energy and making the globe more healthy in, in that sense. So uh, it's great to see that also coming back to the sport and that it's so well supported by all the uh, manufacturers and that formerly as a championship has grown so quickly and now yeah, almost became one of the biggest uh, championships out there. So um, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. Yeah, if I had to guess, I'd imagine both of you probably quite like the talk that electric cars bring as well. But to you, Stoffel, uh, you've done a season now in FE. What, what makes FE special for you? Um, yeah, it definitely is. And, you know, obviously I, everything I did before Formula E was, was very different. But I've really enjoyed the, the switch over to, to the electric racing cars. And uh, I think the fact that we're racing in, in all the biggest cities around the world, getting you know, close to the fans, 
uh, makes it very exciting. A lot of manufacturers are on board as well. Uh, next year, obviously, um, Mercedes and, and Porsche joining as well, which uh, you know will just generate much more interest from from everybody. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can make this a very successful chapter. Let's talk about the, the car itself. It's the most important part, I guess, and uh, you've been testing it already. What are your impressions of this uh, first Mercedes-Benz EQ Formula E car? Yeah, we have been doing a lot of testing uh, recently, and, and yeah, it's been, it's been busy days for us uh, in the car, actually, but uh, the first impressions are, are good. Um, you know, I think we've, uh, we've definitely come a long way forward during all those days we have been, we have been doing. But the real test will kind of be, you know, the first of all, Valencia, the official testing. Uh, but then when we get to the races, it's, it's when we will know kind of exactly where, where, we, uh, where we put ourselves. And, you know, this is a, not an easy championship to, to, be, to be new in uh, as a manufacturer, even though, you know, we, we have a lot of uh, potential, a lot of resources behind, uh, behind this project. Um, you know, we, we just have to, to wait and see what it's going to be like. Uh, Nick, I'm going to jump to yourself. We spoke to Ian earlier about goals and expectation. And of course, for you, next year is your rookie season in Formula E. What, what are the goals you've set for yourself uh, next season? Well, I think, uh, as Stoffel rightfully said, it's quite difficult uh, at the moment to predict where, where we are, also versus our opponents, because we've simply never had the opportunity and chance to uh, see where we, re we are. Uh, really versus versus them but for me personally obviously I'm going new into the championship it's a complete different uh, discipline and approach different racing than actually we we've done throughout our career uh, so far uh, however it's still a racing car and we're still racing so the basics remain the same uh, and and I hope I can get up to speed quickly and and fight uh, fight together in front so, Ian, I know everybody is keen to see the car, but before we do that, just to talk a little bit about the car itself, uh, this FE car and the development journey you're on. Yeah, so very quickly, just before we uh, get to the unveiling, um, Formula E is set up in such a way that if we take a look at the chassis and the battery and battery systems, a lot of that is common uh, across the, uh, across the, the field. Um, what that means is that the, the focus in terms of development and engineering is very much on the power unit. Um, and for that reason, I'm very glad that we've got the team that we have uh, back in Bricksworth working hard on that. And if I look at Mercedes-Benz um, as a whole in the motorsport group, you could argue that actually our development path for this really started 10 years ago uh, when we started developing the Kerr system for Formula One. That progressed through to the V6 hybrid power units that came in in 2014 uh, with the ERS system. A lot of those engineers have now come across to, uh, to Formula E as well. Um, but we should in no shape, uh, way, shape or form underestimate the, uh, the challenge that we've still got. And that also has already started to translate across the road car side as well. We're obviously extremely excited to see the, the AMG1 hypercar. Uh, later on as well. So there's a real genuine connection there uh, across the board. So, ladies and gentlemen, we've met the team principal, we've met the drivers. There's just one thing left to do, of course, the car. So, uh, Toto, I'll invite you back down here. Ladies and gentlemen, photographers, if I can have you at the ready. Ian, if you'd like to make your way down here, and Stoffel and Nick, if you head round to the front of the car, please. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Mercedes-Benz EQ Silver Arrow 01. Spectacular looking car. Nick and Stoffel, if you can stand in the middle there just so we can grab some photographs. Uh, Ian and Toto away to one side at the moment, please. So Ian, just step away. And if you can pan around left to right, please, guys. And Ian, if you could step into shot, please. Jump in next to the guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Left to right again, please, fellas. That's right to left. <laughs> Do once more, once more left to right. <laughs> and Toto, if you'd like to join. Left to right once again. Okay, time for a selfie, I think, Danny. Time for a quick selfie, in. And then, uh, Toto, you need to stay here for this one, I'm afraid. <laughs> Come on in. Perfect. Well done. Thank you. So, guys, before we wrap things up, let me just jump in quickly because I was able to see the car earlier today. Absolutely spectacular. Lads, you'll be the ones jumping in next year. Nick, first impressions on this incredible car. Uh, well, I think it honestly looks amazing, very aggressive and fast, and I hope it uh, will be as efficient and quick as it, uh, as it looks. Um, yeah, obviously, I'm, I'm a little bit biased, but I definitely think it's the, it's the best looking car on the grid. I think the way that all the colors blend in together makes it look very special. So, uh, yeah, very excited to, uh, to start the season ahead. Yeah, for me, I have to pinch myself because this is a Mercedes works car. It's not uh, like many of the others. The, the silver arrows have a tradition and this is the next, the next of its generation. Uh, but you know what they say, as long as it's fast, it looks beautiful. Um, so at first sight, I think we have, we have a good start here. Now we gotta bring in the lap time. So ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the presentation for the all new Mercedes-Benz EQ Formula E team. Uh, we'll see you out in Saudi for round one of season six of the ABB FIA Formula E Championship. Thank you.